In this quick review video, we will take a look at some nice 2D, 3D and text animation presets from AE Juice. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and I have opened up the AE Juice Pack Manager 3 and here I have opened up an Illustrator project which consists of different elements as you can see right over here and I want to animate these elements. Now usually what we do is we select the layer, you know hit P for the position properties, animate it like by creating a keyframe, dragging that keyframe out and maybe I'll add a position animation and you know stuff like that. But let's say I'm on a quick time schedule and I want to quickly animate all these elements in you know very simple way. So here is when the 2D animation presets come into play. So if I just you know open that up you can see we have some really interesting and cool looking 2D animations. Now if I want to add animation to every single element I can do that by just selecting the element dragging and dropping it from whichever position I want the element to animate. So let's say I want to make it, I want to animate it from the right to the left. I can just drag and drop it and here I have a simple animation. Now if I hit Ctrl Z to undo it, I want to animate all the elements pretty randomly. So what I can do is I can select all the elements and just click on animate. So it's going to take a few seconds and bam, there we have some cool animation to our complete scene. Now, if you don't like the animation, what you can do is you can select it and click on animate again and it's gonna randomly add some animation saving you a hell a lot of time. So now you can see if I just preview this really quick, there we have the animation and obviously you can tweak the animations using the markers. So if you want the animation to be a bit short, you can do that by just dragging the markers and in case if you don't want the out animation or if you want a different out animation for any particular layer you can just again select all the layers and delete it and in the delete section you can select the out animation so it's going to delete only the out animation and if you want to delete the complete animation you can just make sure all the layers are selected click on delete and delete in and out so now we are back to scratch now there are different categories for different kind of animation. So firstly we have the position, second we have the position and rotation, we have position and scale, we have position, scale and rotation, scale only scale and just scale and rotation. So if I select it I can click on animate again. And now we only have the scale and rotation animation as you can see. Really really cool. And as I told you guys, if you don't like animation of any particular object, you can just select that particular object. You can delete the animation and then you can add any of your own animation, any of the animation from the presets. So all you need to do is just drag and drop it. So firstly, I need to make sure that the layer is selected, select the preset and then you can drag it either to the right or to the left but in this case we only have the scale and the rotation animation so I can just drag and drop it 
and there we have a rotation and a scaling animation so it's really simple and very easy to use so if i select all the layers again i can delete all the in and out animation if you want you can overlap the animation by just selecting them and clicking on animate let's check out the 3d animation preset so in the into the 3d animation preset we have some nice you know 3d position animation position scale animation and scale and rotation animation which are animating in 3d space so again if i want to add any any animation i can select all the layers and maybe i'll go with the position click on animate it's going to take a few seconds as you can see all the layers are converted into 3d layers because the animation is 3d and there we go now in this case it's not going with this design but depending if you're using a very you know like a simple single object so in this case maybe i'll select this one just solo that up and delete the in and out animation and let's say i only have this one single object that i want to animate i can go maybe in the scale and rotation let's see this looks pretty crazy so i can just drag and drop it just like that and now we have a really nice and cool looking animation so you can take your time and animate every single object by just dragging and dropping the presets now if you only want the in animation what you can do is if i just quickly delete it you can select the in and then drag and drop it onto your shape so you only have the in animation if you want only the out animation you can select the out and drag and drop it just like that so you only have the out animation so it's very simple and easy to use and third we have the text presets which are some really interesting cool looking text presets that they have so all you need to do is just type in your text and drag and drop it onto the text layers and there you will have your animation so that was a quick review for the 2d 3d and text animation presets for ae juice if you want to check them out make sure to check out the link in the description box below and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.